Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we will build together a simple user stamp straight to use it in your projects and I think after building this straight you will not need to use any third part Laravel packages because it's very easy to implement so let's start, the user stamps is something like these three columns these are the timestamps, the edit add, created add and updated add and we will add another three columns deleted by, created by, and updated by so I will back here to my migrations and we can do it here I will add this new three columns nullable, created by, updated by, and deleted by and send big integer because this represents the uh, user ID and I will run here PHP artisan migrate fresh and I will seed some data right back again and the refresh as you can see here they are added and they are nullable and here is the data I have two users and also they are null and now I will back to my user model here and before that I have uh, my controller learn controller here and I am acting as using ID number one I looked on I looked in as this user right and back here to my user again and I will say here let's first disable copilot and I would say a function static boot because I will use a observer in Laravel so here static boot here and we will use it from the model class which exists here and we will say here parent static or sorry boot right and I will say static here and while creating in this uh, phase here this model we will say function uh, self which represents the current class here the user class and I will say here model right as a function call back here and I will say the model created by the column that we already created this uh, column is equal to us ID so don't worry about this because if the user is not authenticated it will be null right and I will do the same thing again here for updating while updating and the same thing here while deleting right and I will fix this column I will say updated by and deleted by that's it guys very simple no need to use any packages you can implement it yourself so I will back here and I will uh, test this method I am looking in as user ID number one so it must automatically I am creating here must automatically assign this uh, user created by must equal to one so back here and I will uh, refresh my page refreshed means the user created here is the user data fatihfatmail.com and back to my database refresh and as you noticed here is our uh, name fatihfatmail and if you noticed here created by automatically uh, us one right let's remove it and I will for example act as user ID number two so back and refresh again user created back to my database refresh and here is that created by is equal to two let's update it for example and I will comment this line I will say user equal to user find three which ID sorry it's four right and I will say here a user a update here for example name to Yavuz right back and refresh again name updated refresh name updated here created by two and again updated by two because I'm acting as user ID number two let's say update by or acting as user ID one when updating again refresh back again refresh it must be changing because the data is the same 
this is the logic so we have no updating so i will back it again to fatty here it works correctly by the way back and refresh again and back to our database here updating by one and created by two created by doesn't uh, be changed right now let's soft delete it by the way i am using here a soft delete in my model so i will say here user id this user 4 will be soft deleted by user id number 1 and back and refresh soft deleted here's our deleted at not null and deleted by didn't saved before a uh, saving or before or after adding it by i think we must add here model uh, save right and back again and set it to null right refresh again deleted back and refresh our database yes it works correctly so uh, while deleting we must uh, change this or adding a save to the user because it's deleted and it may create some conflicts now let's make this method usable everywhere so i will take it as here and i will cut it and i will create a new trait under app folder traits here and i will say user stamps .php and here is our trait under app traits and here is our trait here user stamps right and i will put it here but in Laravel we have a small a note here when using the boot method in a trait which must be like a boot and trait name super easy now back again and let's use it here use user stamps right and i will back here to my database delete this user and i will act as user id number one while creating it and let's comment these lines here and back and refresh this error because we use a parent inside uh, this method inside, inside trade so we will remove it and now let's try to do the same thing i am acting user id number one back and refresh again now we are created refresh here is created by id number one and i will try to update the uh, user uh, id this user id i think it's uh, x now seven right and i will say user find a uh, seven and user date here a uh, name to be ahmed for example and i will act updating as user id number two and i will comment this here back and refresh back and refresh our database updated by id number two and the last thing here i will try deleting uh, by id number one so comment it activate soft delete here now we refresh the page back to our database and if you notice the here is updated add value is it changes from two to one but it's must keep uh, with or by id number two the reason is here inside our trade here we use save method and when we use save it's automatically activate this again then it overrides the value here so to save it without activating this updating observer we can use method called save here quietly right and when we save using it it will not access to this method while updating so back again here and i will take it to old state two and i will set it to null right and make it null again here back and the refresh back again to our database refresh now as you can see deleted by one created also by one and the object by uh, didn't touched right so let's do the whole operation again to make sure that everything works correctly i will create it using id number one and i will return here to not access uh, this part right and i will 
refresh my database here it must be created by one and i will update it by id number two so i will comment here and i will say now id is eight i think yes and i will say here a update name to a test right a update that must be equal to to now back and refresh back to our database again as you can see update by two and i will also act as id number two uh, when delete or soft delete so back again and refresh now it's deleted by two right it's correct now let's try our trait with another uh, model so for example i have here a scale model uh, right and i will say again here a uh, user stamps and i will go to my skills table and i will add the same uh, user stamps columns from here i know we can create another file but for video time i will put it here and i will say again a uh, migrate fresh seed seed it back to our database and here's our uh, skills table the same uh, columns and now we'll go to our controller and here we can say from scratch here a uh, skill sorry here i act creating as user id number one skill create here uh, and we can say name equal to for example spanish right and status is active status active and also yes just two columns back again and refresh created refresh here spanish created created by id number two let's update it by id number uh, one right and we can see here uh, scale equal to scale find and update name for example to this that right what's id is six here back and refresh refresh our database update it by one let's soft delete it and i will also soft delete it by id number two and i will say here delete now back and refresh again works refresh deleted by id number two let's for example a update existing ones for example the first one here so i will say here find id number one and update the name to be again test and it's updated by two back here and refresh update it number one as you can see here updated by id number two Here's how to create a very reusable user stamp stamps trait. If you found it useful, support me by clicking on like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next videos.